Now so far we've been talking about using the copy paste menu here to look at the clip history down below here and paste from it and to get to select archives and to copy to the archives and paste from the archives. But there are other ways to do this as well. Another completely different view on the same clip archive and clip history data is called the clip browser. The clip browser is very similar to the launcher which Apple uses to launch applications. And you can access this by holding down the command key and going over to the right side of the screen. So you can see that this shows you the clips of speeches and from here you can choose any one of them and by hitting this drop down menu you can edit this clip, you can lock it permanently, you can paste it as raw text, you can delete it, you can give it a hotkey so that you can uh, paste it with the uh, hitting a particular combination of keys, you can mail it and you can save the clip as a file. So you can do a variety of things from this, um, this view. You can also, by hitting this arrow, you can change and you can see the clip history going back in time. So you can go to one side of the screen and see the, the archives, swing to the other side of the screen and see the history with the clip browser. Another view of the same clip history and clip archive data is the palette view. And the reason there's different views is that they serve different purposes. The clip browser often is good for pictures, whereas this uh, new view, the clip palettes, which you can access in a variety of ways, but one way is through these icons. The moment your cursor goes over the icon, you can see the clip history, and you can act on the items here. You can see a preview. You can use the, the tools delete the item um, and actually uh, you can delete all the clips in the history, archive them, and perform a variety of other functions. Also, uh, when you uh, go over the A icon, it shows you the uh, various archives that are available. And then, of course, you can choose from the different archives, and if you want, you can have a preview. Another way of getting to the clip palettes is by holding down the shift key and then swinging to the right side of the screen or the left side of the screen. And um, this can be set in the copy paste preferences. Another way that people like to access copy paste is through a contextual menu. That means that if you click somewhere and you hold down the control key and click you can get to the archives from here copying to the archives you can get to the clip history and to the clip tools the final way to access the data is you can go down to the uh, icon which of course many of these are settings you can turn on and turn off in copy paste and you can choose to hold down the control key, click on here, and here you can also access the history, the archives, the tools, and copy-paste pros, manual, and preferences.